Hello, this is Brad again with another fragrance review. This time will be on Memoir Daum by Nana Rishi. And this is a little sample that I had picked up at a mall. Um, they had a basket of samples. And the lady said I could have as many as I wanted. I took one. And I wore it uh, yesterday a couple times. And tried it out a little bit beforehand. And I have some on now. So I think I have a pretty good idea of what this fragrance is all about. It came out in 2002 and is classified as a woody sheepra. And the top notes are grapefruit and licorice, heart notes of ginger and nutmeg, and in the base we have cedar, vetiver, and amber. And at base notes, 14 positive reviews, 7 neutrals, 16 negatives. So you can see this one pretty much uh, is what you might, might call a um, love-hate fragrance and also at base notes in their note pyramid instead of licorice they said licorice leaf and instead of vetiver they said vetiver sap and I think that is kind of important to mention because the fragrance does have sort of like this leafy green type feel to it so it's definitely um, backed strongly with the licorice. Licorice is kind of like the backbone of the fragrance but it's more of a green take on licorice. Uh, if I had to describe this fragrance I would say it's a um, grassy woodsy spicy licorice fragrance. Uh, there is the ginger and the nutmeg in there as well. I'm not really sure if I can really distinguish those notes very well. I guess because of the other notes it's kind of hard for, for it to really stand out in and of itself. As far as the grapefruit goes, one time I sprayed it on, I thought I got a quick blast of uh, grapefruit, but uh, that was just the one time. So to my nose, it's not really too much about the grapefruit. And uh, as you can see, there is sort of like a, like a contrast here. I mean, licorice is normally like a uh, winter fall note and leaf leafiness is normally associated with spring so you kind of have sort of this clash thing going on and it kind of comes across as very strange smelling but um, I would say if you like licorice you know you might want to check this one out especially if you've tried the little Lampica and it wasn't quite what you were looking for but you do like licorice this is uh, a lot different than that one is I would say it's pretty unique as far as um, designer fragrances go. If I had to pick a close relative, it would probably be something from the Hermescence line. Um, Vetiver Tonka perhaps, or even better, Ren de Reglisse, which is Hermescence licorice fragrance. And that one has sort of like this, uh, well it definitely has licorice in it, but it also has other notes in there like hay. So it kind of gives it like more of a grassy licorice smell. So that's kind of how I would describe this one is sort of like a designer take on Brenda Reglise. Not quite as good or natural, but you know, it's you know for the price, you know, not a bad alternative. If you tried that one and liked it, especially in the dry down phase, uh, you might want to check this one out. So let's get into the scoring here. The smell, I'm gonna give it six out of ten. Um I think this is a fragrance that will kind of grow on you a little bit and when you first smell it it will kind of um, just kind of surprise you a little bit with how different it smells I get to give it some time I think uh, uniqueness 9 out of 10 even though there is some similarities in the niche market with Brenda release I think as a designer fragrance you're not gonna smell too much like this one so very unique versatility I, I give it 5 out of 10 I try to wear it as a day wear scent, but as you can see, because it is such a an odd scent, a bit daring for day wear, and as an evening wear scent, a romantic scent, you're really going to want to make sure that your girl likes it um, before you try it on. If she doesn't like licorice, or you know, if she's not into like different, you know, unfamiliar smells, you know, she might not like this one. Uh, projection longevity, I give it seven out of ten. But it did pretty good for a couple hours, and then after that, I was having some trouble um, really smelling it, except up close to my uh, skin. 
the price point now I do believe this one may be discontinued um, but I did see at Amazon they were selling bottles for about thirty dollars so if you can get a dollar if you can get the uh, thirty dollar bottle from Amazon and it's not a fake um, I'm gonna say eight out of ten for price so overall I'm gonna give this one six and a half out of ten stars worth checking out if you like uh, licorice and you're just looking for something with a, a woodsier grassy feel to it very different but uh, worth checking out if you're a designer head and you're getting kind of tired of what's already out there this one will surprise you thanks and I'll talk to you guys later